Good day, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, and welcome back to Half-Life. The previous episode where we left off, we had run out of ammunition for our lovely Gluon gun, which is the third bottom weapon that you could see in the weapon selection right here, so... What we're gonna have to do now is that we have to fight a bunch of alien grunts in here, and unfortunately, we only have crossbow ammo, but thankfully, this usually is pretty effective, so... Oh, you're just gonna move over there? You know, I'm fine with that. Ooh, here come the bees. Ow. I was really afraid of that happening. But that's one down. There's like 15 million more to go. How hard can it be? Um, I'm hoping he walked right next to that box. He did not. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, isn't it? Oh, boy. Also, I boosted the mic sound a bit, you can probably tell. I do still apologize if you can hear my bird. I actually have a couple boxes stacked on the table behind me, so that way he doesn't fly over and buzz my head. And he'll make a lot of noise. Of course, that disrupts the recording a bit and can be a little obnoxious. Just a little bit. I'm hoping this will change in the future and I don't have to worry about it. For the time being, let's just take care of these aliens. That one seemed to have died. If there's one thing I'm also really concerned about is that if my voice is going to be too loud the entire time. It's really difficult finding the balance when it comes to recording. But, hey, it's good for experimentation and it's good to get a little bit of feedback. If you guys have a problem with it, speak now or forever hold your peace. Unless I decide to change it personally. Which might be likely, might not be. I do believe that there's going to be some Vortigaunts that spawn right here. Uh, that wasn't a Vortigaunt, but it was very much an alien grunt, which I really should have expected. I have no idea what he's going to do, but it should be magical and exciting. I'm gonna... Hmm. No, I better stick to this. Did that take care of him? Nope. Well, his bees don't really have that good of a range. Yes, they do, actually. I just seem to have realized. Well, we can jump over this. And that was close. I thought that was going to pull me up. That I realized I'd murdered the dastardly menace. I don't have to be concerned about it anymore. Let's turn off the steam and be on our merry way. Ah, get over there. Pump station number two. Excellent. That, however, is not really excellent in my opinion. Neither are you, good sir. And my frame rate seems to be up quite a lot today, so this is going to be promising for the recording. Just as long as it actually records, bear in mind. <laughs> because you know me and my luck with recording, it's awful. Just awful, awful stuff. Preposterous things always occur whenever I try to record. Well, that's the way of life. It's just Murphy's Law in action once again. But Murphy's Law is no longer relevant when we have a pump to switch on. And that seems to have done the trick, so the water should rise up. It looks like there's something magical in there. I'm... There's nothing magical down here. That was all a lie. It looked like there was something down there. I'm sure you thought that as well. But, alas, I guess we can head back now. And now this time on the way back, I do believe there's maybe a few Vortigaunts or alien grunts that spawn due to the triggering of the mechanism there. I cannot be too sure about that though. It doesn't look like it. Because it didn't happen when I was switching on the first pump. No, I guess not. Well, I'm, that works with me. Fine. Okay, so we have both of the pump stations activated. I think we can head towards our main core now, the main tank reactor. There's nothing left in the maintenance section, I don't think. The maintenance station, excuse me. That looks lovely. <laughs> I like how they make bee noises, even though they themselves really aren't bees at all. They're far more vicious. And my bird! He has passed the evil wall of boxes. Clearly he is quite fearless. It's actually, in reality, he's pretty much scared to death of everything. <laughs> it's kind of sad if you think about it, but... Hey, he's a tropical bird, what can you expect? But he's not really scared of foliage, because obviously that would be a familiar sight for him. Eh... Uh, 
Yep, yeah, welcome to Half-Life, where I talk about birds. That sounded like something nasty just spawned. Oop, yep, yeah, that was, that's what I consider nasty. But, ducking seems to have done the trick. Don't have any grenades left! Um, well, he's just kind of spamming the ammunition all the way here, so... Alright. What's this? Flow to the main reactor. Alright. There's something I'd like to point out when I activate the flow down here, once we get to that area, after this loading screen, totally called it. No, just kidding, I already knew it was there. But anyways, do not hit, do not use the cooling system valve too first, because it, you won't get very far at all. Like, I was so confused by this at first, that I noticed, huh, if you put one and two together, then it kind of makes sense to go in numerical order. Meh. So that raises the first part of the water flow. Now there are a couple of aliens up there just having a convention. You can see that there's a Vortigaunt right there. It's better to just pick them off from down here so that way they don't cause you trouble later on. That is, if you can comfortably see them. Like this, it almost, it almost feels like I'm actually bending my neck right now. That could just be me, but... Man, Gordon must be really sore from doing this. No, it's alright, he's a super soldier. He's survived quite worse, I'm sure. And I'm not sure if that's a corpse or if that's still live. Um, I'm going to pretend that it's dead. And hopefully pretending will make sense. Yes. Well, I get a better vantage point from here, I guess. Okay, so once you activate that, electricity starts to occur. Obviously, you don't want to get hit by these volts. It wouldn't really be satisfactory. It wouldn't be safe. It wouldn't be healthy. And when you put those two together, those are things that you'd want the most. And, okay, ow, oh <laughs> god. I'm not sure if I should just go with this, but I'm not going to quick save just yet. Just in case I don't come across any extra health. Now, there's a supply cabinet here. That sounds a lot better. <laughs> All the suit energy I can want in the world, and I don't have health to go with it. Ah, oh, well. What can you do? Is there anything up this ladder? Oh. Yeah, I guess that's kind of where we have to go. Leap of faith! I'm quite surprised I made it there. Gordon is a very avid jumper, it seems. You know, 24 health, that really isn't bad. I'm satisfied with that. If that is not satisfactory for you, then I'm sorry, go play the game yourself. Oh, what's up, Baron? Yo! Excuse me, I just need this health station here. And... <laughs> oh, Barney, you have some of the greatest lines of this game. That's just one of the things I really love about Half-Life, is that the idle scientists and whatnot... Oh, hey, G-Man. There he goes. When you just leave the scientists and the security guards idle, they have some of the funniest lines, like the sort of office humor sort of thing. Speaking of office humor, I've been watching Dilbert recently. It's actually, it's actually pretty funny. It kind of reminds me of The Simpsons. You guys should totally check it out. You can watch it on Crackle. It's free. And, but if you do not support free things, which totally don't... <laughs> if you do not support free things, which are really convenient, then I'm sorry. You will not be able to experience the joys of watching Dilbert. But... We shall continue onward. Okay, he said, hey, Mr. Freeman, this time. Does he have something else to say right now? Um, uh, you should go ask Dr. Kleiner, I'm sure he would know. Ha <laughs> ha So let's just watch G-Man go by again. And this time, after I dispose of these head crabs, I should probably quick save. Just because you guys will be happy with that, you won't have to see me shoot the same aliens over and over again. Oh man, I am running pretty low on pistol ammo. I need to find a different supply cabinet real soon. You are not obeying the laws of physics! 
Dude, seriously. Alright, so that guy's going to spawn there. I have some glue on gun ammo, but I don't feel as though that's going to cut it. I haven't used the bomb satchel at all. Oh. That did something, trust me. Uh, Boom. Oh, hey, well, you know, that seems to take care of it. Oh. Oh, no, 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 you are not allowed to hurt Bonnie. He's my good friend. That was pretty close. Good job, mate. Good shot. Nice shot, mate. Nice shot. Oh, <laughs> That's not what I call a nice shot. Quick, Bonnie, help! Please. Please, be of assistance. I would greatly appreciate that right now. Oh, look at that. Very nice. I love this guy. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> Barney's just doing all the work. Oh, that turns the steam on. Ha <laughs> the, the steam. Get it? Because steam powered, it's like a valve thing. Uh, can I open these doors? No, the doors are already open. Anyways, this is what teleporters do. Not too, too big of a gimmick, but we will be encountering those a bit sooner. It shall be glorious. Is there anything down here that's worth viewing? Like, at all? I still have to question what the point of this place is. Eh? Let's just be on our way then. So, what we got here is a nice little trap for any aliens that we come across. If you walk forward, you're going to attract the attention of a bunch of aliens. But, oh yeah, I got shotgun ammo. That's nice. Try reload. It's a quick save. Yeah, there he is. Uh, now, just turn the steam on. If you're quick enough, then it should automatically kill the grunts that spawn any of the aliens. Unfortunately, that other grunt managed to get away with it, and there he is. But he went down rather quickly. I have no argument with this, so let's bludgeon him. Good God, that's a lot of hit points. Now, I'm not sure if any more spawn, but if we can't really get past there without scorching our heads off, so... Quick save. Uh, uh, there he is! And he's, of course, of course he's gotta shoot the bees over. Oh, please don't drain my health. I'm rather fond of living, in case you didn't know. Ugh. Maybe I can... Yeah, there's, there's one of his buddies. It's, okay, he knows how to fight fire with fire. This is interesting. Ow. Bastard. Eh. Eh. Oh, hey, he died. How about that? There's nothing up there. Actually, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so you can, you can stand here. I wonder... If you can actually get stuck down there, man, that'd be really curious. Uh, if I can, like, maybe do a duck jump or something. <laughs> oh, that's what happens when you go exploring. You just get crushed. Well, we learned something. Can't go into that lab. I do recall there is something down here that is very useful. Lambda to core reactor C. Okay, so that's the main teleportation hub. We will be going there really soon. For now, let's just focus our attention on getting the items in here, which are very conveniently placed, like most other things throughout the entire game. Uh, okay. Flashlight, we got health kits, and we got a bit of bowling ball ammunition. Which I should probably be using soon. I mean, we are getting close towards... Uh, getting to the Zen homeworld, and the Zen homeworld, if you don't know what that is yet, is basically where all the damn aliens are coming from. And obviously, we want to make sure that the aliens don't have access to Earth anymore, so it's a menace that we, the free man, must dispose of. It doesn't look like there's anything else here other than our dead pal Albert. Alright. Thank you, Albert, for not hoarding those things before you died, because obviously it's far more important for us to gather them. We are back in the teleportation labs. Okay, I don't want to get crushed by that. Or smooshed. 
that's just there in case you fall down. Which is, again, really convenient enough. But taking these teleports, depending on where the teleportation ends, you'll end up in a series of platforms. Basically, you have to climb your way up, but different teleports take you to different areas, so let's go to teleport 1 and see where it takes us. Okay, this is the head crab area. I think we can probably use the bee can for this, though. I haven't used this very much, and I feel kind of bad for that, because it's not a bad weapon. But, the thing is, you can't really fire it as fast as the alien grunts can, which is... makes me kind of jealous, because it would be convenient. Yeah. 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 Alright, no more are going to fall down, presumably. I've got my eye on you. I've got my eye on this little fellow, too. Little ankle biter. You. Head crab. Let's see, your name will be Jeff. Your name will be Sebastian. And... Oh, it looks like your sister was aborted. Aborted from this lovely shaft. How tragic. Boju! Well... <laughs> I don't have a comment on that. He was just trying to be sneaky, but ultimately, he failed. And of course, I would fall down too. Well, since this is rather unstable, we may as well just get rid of all these platforms as best as we can and try to avoid all this toxic waste. Okay, that didn't affect me. Excellent. Grenades, how about that? Can this door open at all? No, again, the tiddly bomb bomb noise. I don't think there's anything over there either. Let's just take the teleportation back and look, we're back here. So I guess we could try number two then. Unless number two leads to up there, in that case, I want to come down here and explore a bit. Now, some teleports are traps. So that leads up there, thus being a trap. Actually, no, it's just I didn't bother looking up to see if I would land anywhere. So let's just try number three. Door number three. I mean, that's always the lucky number when it comes to game shows. But I don't watch game shows, so what do I know? Just another supply area. Very nice. And we're back here again. So now we can try teleport number two. And try our best to pay attention to where the teleport actually is. I can't really see it. Okay, there it is. So we have to align both of these platforms to make sure we land on one of them. That's a good enough one for me! Ah, oh, good. Okay, I'm gonna quick save here. Yep. Where does port number four take us? Okay, it takes us to the next area. I'm not really interested in that though, so... Let's just kill ourselves and then respawn. See where else we can go. I'm assuming port number 6 doesn't really take us anywhere useful. I'm hoping port number 5 will. I'm curious to know what's over there now that I think about it. Oh, scientists. I think they have something to say. Freeman, who would have thought you'd still be alive? Uh, yeah. <laughs> from the anomalous materials lab. Yes, I recognize you. Well, you're everywhere. Of course you'd recognize me. Is just a paranoid rumor, isn't it? <laughs> All these guys can't decide on what to talk about. Well, that's typical office humor for you. Is there anything down here? Okay, it's just where we were previously. Not really valuable information, but what can you do? Did you understand that last announcement? Well then, valuable information. And we get more storage supply items. Now, I think this teleport might be a trap. So, I'm gonna take it, see what happens. No, it's not a trap. Excellent. I know one of these leads to, like, this funky little shaft that you fall down, and once you fall down, you're, like, set on fire, but you get health kit afterwards. It's kind of silly, but hey, what can you do? What can you do? Alright, so we took port number five. And I'm assuming that's where we ended up when we took that last teleport, so... Let's try number six. Oh, just got pushed right there. Hold. Oh, yeah, this is the exact room I was talking about. Ultimately pointless. 
So I'm just going to quick load, so I don't have to go through that again. <laughs> lovely. <laughs> just, just lovely. The things that you clip onto in this game once you quick load, it's... Oh my god, really? I do not want to have to climb back up there again. Actually, you know what? Maybe I have to. It it's, might be quicker. Nope, I don't have to. Excellent. Let's go into port number four now. And end up where I we just left off. I know exactly what I'm doing. Do not fret. So, where's the final teleport? Okay, it's up there. And I landed on it this time. I don't even care that I have a little health. Hmm. 7, 8, or 9. Decisions, decisions. I think number 9 burns you to death. It doesn't exactly look safe. Let's try number 7. It looks like number 7 takes us where we're supposed to go. Yeah. I don't want to go where we're supposed to go just yet. Because obviously there are a million more things to explore. Hmm. We could always attempt port number... 8. Another loading screen. Ah. So, going here... HEV suit... Bowling ball ammo. Oh. <laughs> I guess I should probably use the Gluon gun more now. Hi. Excuse me, I'm in the middle of business if you don't mind. Alright, so I guess that just happens if you come here. Now, taking this teleport should lead us... back here. To be honest, I find that a rather pointless trip, because I'm pretty good for HEV suit health and... Yeah, I suppose I'm good in terms of the ammunition department, because I really didn't need any of that. Did I just take the wrong teleport again? I just took the wrong teleport again. I know what I'm doing, don't worry. <laughs> just give me a second and I can correct my faults. We just jump into port 7 now. And we should go where we are supposed to go. Into another series of teleports. Yes. Why do we design these things like this again? Could somebody just please explain to me what the purpose of designing like all these rotational devices and floating platforms? It doesn't make any bloody sense. Uh well, we have a few different ports to open up now, so... Let's just see what we can do with that. Let's go to the other side. Port number two. Or door number two, I should say. That's not really a port, is it? I fell in the toxic waste and I got smooshed. Isn't that lovely? Hmm. Alright, I guess we have to activate that again. If I can stop being an arse and actually pay attention to what I'm doing. In fact, I don't even think these are separate teleports. I think these all lead to the same area. All you have to do is just activate both the buttons and everything will be hunky-dory. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm so stupid, I really can't figure anything out at all. I'll, I'm just going to focus my attention. Okay? There, see? Now that I actually paid attention to what I was supposed to do, I could actually accomplish it. How about that? Time to tackle port number one. As soon as this bar at least raises up. But, yeesh. Excellent. Oh wait, no, it looks like there are two entrances now. I'm really not sure which one to go through. You know, I'm gonna try this. Well, maybe it all still leads to the same area, you never know. So where is this? It brings us up here. Interesting. Where does this go? It takes you all the way to the bottom, and obviously you do not want to be doing that. Because it's just a tedious process climbing all the way back up. And oh hey! I didn't realize I had ammunition for this weapon. Well good, because it's my favorite one, and I love to use it on the battlefield. Um, just reload it for a second there, Gordon. We should be on our merry way. So that's what was blocking us from getting into the supply. And you are what's blocking us from progressing. Hey, I hit him in the midair. For once. That was that was cheap. I'm sorry, that was just really cheap. You 
are dying. I don't have any ammunition left for this gun, but you know what, that's okay. Because we still have the Magnum. The Magnum is relatively useful, depending on whatever situation you may be in. Ugh. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh. He's going to let us in. Alright then, so we are very close to the end of the game, as you can see. In fact, Dr. Kleiner has something else for us. The long jump module created expressly for navigation in the world beyond. I certainly hope you receive long jump training, because once you're in Zen, you will need it. I would advise you to practice before crossing over. So, this is the bunny hopping power-up. <coughs> Sorry, voice crack there, power-up. So basically, you just hit C, or the duck button, wherever duck key it is, and then jump, and it allows you to do a long jump. This, you will be needing this, so I strongly advise you pick it up, because otherwise you're just going to have a bad time, and you won't get anywhere at all. But here's a totally large resupply cabinet, and obviously you know by now that the game is preparing you for what's ahead in the horrors of the Beyond Universe, that being the world of Zen. So, let's just take Barney to cover us for now. <laughs> you know, I don't even care about your machinery anymore. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. Save the world. In fact, it might be safer for Barney to just stay behind, but... Oh, well, I've never tried this before, so let's just take him in and see what happens. There it is. I'm up here! Practice your long jump if you must, but hurry up! Okay. So, he's going to get the portal ready up there. What you have to do is hold out for as long as possible while a few aliens spawn. And this is going to be a new kind of alien. You shall see in a moment. So, Barney's just going to be here to back us up, and hopefully they will not target him. So, I shall try to shoot as many as possible, get their attention before they shoot Barney. If Barney dies, well, he made a good sacrifice. It was for saving the Earth. Open the portal now. The process is complicated. Once it's begun, I must not be interrupted, or I will have to start all over again. Don't enter the beam until I give the okay. Understood? Understood, okay. sir. All right. Well, let's get ready to rumble, and then jump into the portal once we're good and ready. Oh boy, yep. Well, Barney knows what he's doing. It looks like the aliens are targeting me only, so... Barney is a good viable ally in the event of these aliens spawning. And I just ran out of ammunition rather quickly. Uh, okay then. Oh, he's still alive! He's still alive and kicking! Oh, that's another one down. Oop! Ow. Oh boy, explosions are happening. This has pretty much become a Transformers movie. Ow. Did that seriously kill me right there? Unheard of. That's never happened before. Oh, uh, Barney, maybe he'll stay down there for long enough so that way we can hold out. I'm assuming this is just the safety point, though. Uh, okay. Well, 
everything's being powered on again, so I suppose we're good for now. In fact, you know what, maybe I'll just save this ammunition and use the machine gun for the time being. Oh dear, oh dear indeed. We have got ourselves a bit of a situation right here. Who are you gonna call? Well, Barry seems to have things covered, and these aliens seem to only be interested in me. I just fell down. Sorry, Barney, I'm coming. <laughs> ah, that scientist sounds like he's having a lot of fun. Oh boy, I better get back so that way I don't get blown up again. Ow. How does that keep happening? I'd really like to question how that keeps happening. It really makes me curious. It's never occurred to me before. What exactly is killing me? Some sort of red lightning. Some sort of red lightning that is just completely dastardly. I suppose I'll just have to hold out from up here. Okay, so it looks like I've proven that Barney makes a valuable ally during this situation because the aliens really don't care about him shooting them. Which I'm completely fine with. I have to admit. But also, it's a bit of an issue when you're trying to use a very accurate weapon, and me with aim, I'm not exactly good at this sort of thing. I guess I'm safe up here now. Get yourself in position, alrighty. Well, I am technically in a position that is comfortable for me. I'm just going to quickly, quickly save right here, and please try to avoid as much as possible. Barney's doing well down there. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh boy, that's a lot of barrage right there. Jump! 